Hi, on two previous videos on the main channel, we took a look at this uh, Philips C5 II, I think it was, ultrasound interface connector here. I can't remember how many uh, pins it was. Somebody actually uh, counted them. Anyway, I thought I'd do a quick follow-up because somebody asked a very interesting uh, and pertinent question. Is this a ZIF socket, i.e. a zero insertion force socket? And that's a great question because uh, given the huge number of uh, pins here, imagine if, if this was like, if each individual contact in there went into a receptacle, there would be a given like friction in there and this would actually be really difficult to insert these things. So of course you're familiar with uh, zero insertion for sockets for like uh, dip ICs and uh, things like that. Oh, you, know, you youngsters maybe not but anyway back in the day zero insertion for sockets but anyway like this one has a lever connector so is it a zero a, is it a zip socket? Well if we zoom in and we give this a little bit of a, a turn Let's oh, go, go in the other direction. Watch the pins. Watch the pins. Do they move? Did you see? Oh, hang on. I've really got it. I'll hold it down. There we go. Hang on. Ah, here we go. Hold it down. Watch them move back. <laughs> they move inwards. Well, I'm not sure which is the locked. Uh, position, I think that's the locked position. So they start out in and then it forces them out like that. So let's zoom into that. There you go. So this definitely is a zero insertion force socket. The uh, pins in there would, uh, you know, almost be no force. You know, there might be some little bit of uh, contact, but basically the whole idea of zero insertion force sockets is that there's no contact friction when you plug in the connector and then when you put it in and you fold the lever it forces the pins to contact the outer part. So there you go. So the answer is yes. This is a zero insertion force socket. Very nice. Ah, oh, thing of beauty. Joy forever. Catch you next time.